Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. I recently bought a cast iron burger press and thought it would be a good idea to share with you how you can 3D model it, of course, in the fastest way possible. Without any other hesitation, let's get started. First of all, we'll start to create a new component. So we'll go to the Create menu, then New Component, and let's name it. And let's call it, why not, Cast Iron Burger Press. And then press to enter. Now this is our active component, so we will work in it. Let's create now a new sketch. We'll go to the Create Sketch, and I will select this plan. Inside, we need to construct the circle. So we'll press the C letter from Circle, and we will write here, 178. An important fact is that today we will work in millimeters, as you can see here to document settings, or here as well. Now we have the circle and let's create the parallel one. So in order to create it, we will apply the offset feature. So press the O letter from offset and drag it inside with minus 3. So now we have a parallel circle at a distance of 3 millimeters. Finish sketch, extrude, press the E letter or the symbol, select both areas and drag it down with minus 4 millimeters. Now we will use the same sketch, so we'll go here, we'll make this sketch visible and we will extrude it again with 6 millimeters for this time. And moreover, the cast iron will be cast and after this 3D, a mold will be created. So we will keep everything in the same object, or in the same body in this case. Now we can make this sketch invisible and we should go on. After that we will create a new sketch, but for this time we will create it on this plan. Now we will use the P letter for the project feature. We can make now this body invisible because we don't need it anymore. Let's create a new line, so press the L letter, starting from the middle here. It doesn't matter the length, just create one line, but to be perpendicular here on the middle. Now select this line, offset it with 5 millimeters, and this line, offset it with 4 millimeters. Let's create now a new circle. So create a circle somewhere here, it doesn't matter. A circle with a diameter of 8. Let's go to this constraint, tangent constraint. Select this circle, select this line to be tangent here, and of course, in this part as well. Press the T letter for trim, trim this part, and now we need to select this arch, go to the create rectangular pattern, let's go to spacing, we'll go in this direction, here we will select symmetric, we will set this distance to be 18, and the quantity will be 10, and your final design will look like this and press OK. Now you can delete those three lines or you can select it and to convert them into the construction mode. Now let's start to extrude everything. So press the E letter, extrude, select all these profiles, make the body one invisible again and here we must go to the symmetric whole length and here at distance we will write the entire diameter of the first circle, which means 178 millimeters, and of course the operation will be joined. So now we have one single body, but now let's remove all the outside parts. To do that, we will select this area, right click, create sketch, project again, so press the P letter, and now let's create another circle, starting from the middle of course, but the circle to be over these edges. And now extrude, select this area and go down. The program automatically will detect that you want to cut it, so the operation will be cut. And then press OK. And look like that. For the next step, we need to create a new sketch. So go to the new sketch and for this time select this surface. P letter again, project the surface, L from line and create a line. Trim. To delete this extra part and now we need to create here a rectangle so press the air letter but select center rectangle and the starting point will be on this line the first distance will be 11 then press the tab key and you'll write here 28 
But another important fact is that you need to have 8 millimeters between this line and this point. In order to do that, we'll go to sketch dimension or you can press the D letter, select this line, select this point, and right here, 8 millimeters. Create another line here, perpendicular on the other one. Select both lines and make them in construction mode. Now, S from sketch shortcuts, mirror, select the first one because the first one is for the 2D sketch and the other one for 3D objects. So mirror, I select both, mirror line, this one it will be and OK. Finish the sketch, extrude these two rectangles and we'll go up with 54 millimeters and the operation of course it will be joined because the entire body will be made of cast iron. Here we need to create a new sketch. So I selected the surface with left click and now I press right click create sketch. Project again so I press the P letter and now I need to create a new line. So line a letter 20 millimeters and I'll go here to midpoint. I'll select this line, I'll select the other one, so we'll be automatically in the middle. Construct another two lines, one here and one here, and here we need to create an arch. So arc, three-point arc, okay, and now press the D letter for sketch dimension and we'll add here the radius of 12. Now let's add another circle. From this point we'll write 6 millimeters. So actually we need a gap for the screw. Extrude now, select this, this and this area until we reach the other side because we need to cut them also in the other side as well. The operation cut, all right, okay. Now let's come back to sketch number five because we still need it. So I make it visible, extrude again until we reach that distance, join, okay. Now extrude again until we reach the surface but here we'll go to the offset and here I must write the same number because I want to start from this edge so here I will write minus 145 and now I will click on this surface so of course the operation will be joined in this way I use it for extrusions for one sketch so I save a lot of time now I can make it invisible and now let's create another sketch starting from here on this plan. Use the project feature again. Now I can make the body one invisible. Let's fill this gap. Use the trim feature, so press the T letter, I delete that one, and now I will create two extra lines. It doesn't matter too much here the distance, but it definitely matters the angle. So I'll press the tab key now, to set the angle and I'll write here 85. I must do the same thing, so it's my choice. I can mirror it or I can create it again, but I'll create again. It doesn't matter again the length, but it matters the angle. So if I will be 90, it will be straight away, but I need plus 5, so 95. And then press enter. Now extrude, select all these four areas. Okay, now I will make the body one visible again. I will go here to symmetric and I will drag one of those errors and then press OK. And your design should look like this. Let's create now another sketch also on this plan. Project feature again here and here. You can make it invisible again and also we need to project these holes. Now you can make it invisible again. Now let's add a line, starting from this middle until we reach the other middle. Basically, it is a parallel line. Now let's offset it. Select it, offset it with 13, and again, offset with minus 13. Offset those two lines as well with 2. I want to have here an extra tolerance with 2 millimeters, because here I will create the handle. So I want to have a little free space here. The same thing I will do it in the other side, offset with 2. I will extend it now, so press the S key, sketch shortcuts, extend. I selected the first one. Finish sketch and now I will extrude. 
only those two surfaces. Symmetric, whole length, and the whole length must be 26. New body, okay. Now another sketch on this plan because this plan cuts our object exactly in half. Project again. Now I make the body too invisible. I will construct a new circle, so I will start from the middle until I reach this green line. But if you cannot reach it, no problem, create a new line starting from one, starting from one edge until you reach the opposite one. Create a circle, so press the C letter and find the middle. So it is exactly the same thing. And you can delete that line or you can convert it into construction mode. Extrude, select those four corners, make the body too visible, symmetric, and just drag the arrow. Now you have a cylinder. Let's make the body one visible again. And here we will apply a chamfer feature. So chamfer, select this edge, select the opposite one and write four and then press OK. Here, as you guessed it already, will be placed our screw. So now the next step is to create the screw. I'll create a minimalistic one in the fastest way possible again. So I'll create a new sketch. Let's select, for example, this plan. It doesn't matter too much. I will start through a new line. Here I'll write 30, so it will be 3 centimeters long. Another line here, which will be 4. Another line in the right side with 7. And I want that our screw to have a metric thread of 6. So in order to do that, I will select this line, offset it with minus 3, close this boundary, and close it also up here. Finish sketch, revolve, axis, this one it will be, OK. Now let's go to the thread feature. I will select this one. The program automatically detects that our metric thread will be 6 millimeters. Perfect. We'll go to modeled. OK. And for a final touch, we'll go here, right click, create sketch. And we'll create a polygon. Project, P letter. OK. Now I have this center point. I'll go here to polygon, circumscript. I'll write here 3, extrude, E letter, and I'll go down with minus 3. Now our screw is done. Because we need two screws, I will multiply it. So I select body number 3, I press the M key, create copy, and move it nearby. In order to set it, I'll press the S key for design shortcuts, align. I want to select this point. If you cannot reach it, hold the control key or command key if you are a Mac user. So from here, from this point to hold the mouse cursor on this edge. Now press the control key again and select this area and then press OK. As you guessed it, the same thing will do it in the other side as well. S, align. And I'll put it here. And then press OK. And look at that. Of course, this handle will be made out of wood, so I will not create here the gap. And for the final step, let's add the materials. I'll press the A letter for, from appearance, and I'll write here. First of all, oak. I'll drag it here. Then, to be more shiny, I'll select for our screws chrome material. And for the other one, for the cast iron, usually I prefer the black color. But in this situation, if, if I write here cast iron, I only find this color. So just for this design, I'll write here powder coat. Because this is the color that I'm searching for. And here it is. Our cast iron burger press is done. I hope this video helped you learn more about the program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.